Yo, what's going on guys? Fireburner here and today we're going to be going over a highly requested mechanic that you guys have been leaving in the comments of my past couple of videos. That's going to be an air dribble tutorial. Um, so basically in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to be as consistent as possible with these going forward. Not just a wall to air dribble but other variants of it as well. Air dribbling is a pretty essential mechanic that you want to learn at the higher ranks for sure. And it will definitely separate you from the rest at the lower ranks. Also just wanted to point out, like if you guys haven't checked out my other tutorials, I've done videos on how to fast aerial properly, how to win like almost all your 50s, and how to have better car movement. So after you guys are done watching this video, be sure to check those out as well if you guys haven't already. But anyways, let's just get straight into it and get straight to the tutorial. All right, so the first type of air dribble I'm gonna be going over with you guys is the wall to air dribble, the basic one that everyone knows. Um, so I'm using Bakke's mod, so this is something that's actually pretty convenient. If you guys are on Steam, you guys can download it. If you guys are on Epic Games, unfortunately, you guys can't use it yet, but I'll be including some training packs though, that'll definitely make the setup way easier for you guys to practice on. Alright, so, first things first. You have the ball rolling on the ground like this. When you're taking the ball up the wall, the first thing you want to do, to, you want to make sure, is that the ball's not bouncing. You don't want the ball to be going up the wall like that, like bouncing into the wall, because as you guys just saw there, the ball's going to pop out before you even have a chance to hit the ball, right? So you don't want it to be going like that, because then it, you can still air dribble, but it's just going to make it a lot harder for you, especially if you guys are just starting out and learning how to do this, right? So you want the ball to be flat on the ground going up the wall like that, stuck, so it kind of sticks to the wall almost, right? As you guys can see. Now, you can practice doing this over and over again. It's Essentially, just practicing the setup, right? Because, and honestly, the setup in the uh, air dribble is like the most important part. The setup and the first touch. So you want to make sure that you're able to do this consistently. Just came to the wall, off the wall, and making sure that's stuck up against the wall, not bouncing away from it. So, once you guys have that sorted out, the next thing you want to do is the first touch. So now this is where, <clears throat> excuse me, this is where mo I feel like most people actually mess up their air dribble before they even start it so what i notice a lot of people do is they'll do this right they'll either go too fast into the ball and then as they're hitting the ball what they'll do as well is they'll jump with it like with the ball as you're hitting it like that right you see how i'm like just jumping with it and the ball's going super far away from me i'll do like a more realistic version of that so like people do something like this right like i can still air dribble it but it's like it's gonna get away from me i don't have full control of it like i should like when you see like maybe Justin or Squishy do it, right? So the main thing when you're doing this, what I do, right? I don't suggest jumping off with the ball if you're a beginner and you don't have this master. Once you actually get better at air dribbling, then I would suggest like, okay, you can jump with the ball and it's it'll make it, that you can still do it pretty well, but it's not as consistent, right? When you're first starting out. So what you wanna do at first, so you're taking the ball off the wall, it's gonna be stuck up on the wall. What I'll do is I'll come off the wall and then I'll break as soon as I hit make contact with the ball up against it. So, a little something like this. Ball's rolling off the wall. I tap the break, pop it out, and then I'm able to follow it up really easily. All right, so that wasn't the best because I didn't really get a lot of height on it, but I'll, I'll try to do another one, a better one. Okay, rolling up the wall, pop it out, stays close, and then I can air dribble it pretty easily. So, that's, a, that's basically what I do even to this day, right? Majority of the time, if I have space, I'll just do that to pop it out. And then I can really angle my car to fall up the air dribble. So once again, to go over it, I make sure it's rolling against the wall, tap it, tap it out, and then you can like follow it up. Okay, so now you guys, let's assume like you have that down, right? You guys now understand how to keep it close against the wall, you pop it out, and now you're able to follow it up. So if you've noticed so far throughout this video, what I've been doing every time I pop the ball and I'm starting the air dribble. So this is actually what, separates a like a pro quote unquote pro air dribble to a normal air dribble and that's the introduction of air roll right and left now i personally have air roll left and air roll right bound now i suggest you don't need to have both bound i just happen to have both bound because i've kind of like really gotten used to air roll right so i use air roll left on occasion for certain situations for certain aerial hits right but you want to have at least one bound. There's one left or right. It, does, it literally doesn't matter. It's preference, right? Some pros use left, some pros use right. It doesn't matter. Now, if you guys are noticing, every time I'm starting the air dribble, I'm holding air roll right instead of normal air roll to get multiple touches on the air dribble. 
I think lower ranked people, what they'll do is they'll go like this, right? They'll do the air dribble and they'll use normal air roll. And you can still get a decent air dribble, right? But the thing is, though, if you're defending against this, like something like this, say I use normal air roll like this. You're defending against this. It's very easy to read. And, like, it's really easy to tell what you're doing. Like, it's a lot easier to defend. Then if I'm coming off the wall, holding air roll right or left, and then I'm getting, like, a bunch of different spins and touches on the ball like this, it's very hard because I can really um, change the direction of my air dribble depending on, like, what my opponent is doing when you're doing that. So if you guys see, like I said, I'm you're referring to Justin Switch a lot, right? Because they, they're pretty known for this. Like, they're, when they're air dribbling, they're really able to keep the ball glued to the front of their car and it'll spin in the air and kind of just manipulate the direction of the air dribble. So, yes, it's fancy looking, right? Like, look, see, I'm able to, like, curve it from, like, left to right. Super simple, as you guys saw right there. They're, they're spinning a lot because it, like, looks cool. And a lot of people think it's because it, look, it looks cool. It does look cool, but it's also, like, there's logic behind the madness there, right? So, now I'm going to explain to you guys how I'm doing that. So, now let's say you guys have arrow left or right bound. The next thing you want to do is you want to... as Okay, so, as the ball's kind of landing, right? So, first, at first I just say, when you're going into the air dribble, you want to match the ball speed. So, you kind of want to catch the ball at its apex. Or as it, as it's like just falling from from its apex. So I'll start again. Okay, here we go. Pop the ball out. Right as it's starting to fall, I'll start the air dribble. So essentially, you want to just cradle the ball onto the nose of your car. That's essentially what it is. You kind of want to match the ball speed in the air, and as soon as it's starting to to dip, kinda, you want to. That's when you want to start boosting underneath it. Now, where you want to hit the ball is also very important. So in an air dribble. You want to hit the ball right underneath the ball, directly underneath it, for the most part, right? So if I do like a bouncing air dribble, like you see, I'll start it. I'll start. I'm hitting it like right underneath the ball at its sweet spot. That's basically the sweet spot. You don't want to hit it too far down the middle or too far underneath. You kind of just want to hit it right in between, like maybe. I want to show you guys like uh, like here, kind of. Well, that's kind of hard to show you guys, but without arrows or anything like that, but. Okay, so I say this replay real quick. I want to show you guys where the sweet spot on the ball is when I'm talking about when you're trying to air draw, right? But here I go. I pop it off the wall, right? I jump into it. I just like, no, I don't even jump into it. I break, I jump into it, then after. So then essentially what I'm talking about is, right, here's the ball at a straight angle. You see the angle I'm coming at towards it. I'm not going directly underneath the ball, right? And I'm not going at its side. I'm not going at its side. I'm not going underneath. You see, I'm kind of going right in between the bottom and the side perfectly around this angle right so like this i'm hitting it right here and that's basically where you want to hit it at every single time when you're trying to do an air dribble because you want to hit it up kind of you want to pop it up you don't want to pop it too far up because then it's going to get away from you and you're going to be like kind of breaking your neck trying to reach it and you don't want to hit it up here like too far at its side like right here because then it's going to get away from you as well it's going to go too far from you after the first touch so right here Right here <laughs> is where is where the sweet spot. Is. So you're you're gonna see it when I'm hitting the ball. Five percent. Okay, the ball. There it is. Right like that. Not too far underneath. Not too far that side. And then I start air roll writing. Let me speed it up for you guys. All the way through, kind of at the same angle, right? So first touch was there. Second touch is also there at this kind of around the same spot. Not too far on the side. Not at the bottom. Right in between. And I continue my air dribble the entire way through, just like that, holding arrow right. I get another touch at the exact same spot, and that's a goal. So for my players that are on Epic, right, and they don't have access to Bakke's mod or the workshop maps that I went over, this is a really great training pack that I recommend you use. Uh, it has all sorts of variants of wallet air dribbles, as well as the bouncing ones that I'm about to go over with you guys. I'll leave the code to this uh, training pack in the description of the video so you guys can try it out for yourselves. But so now we've finished going over the wall air dribble for the most part. I just want to show you guys real quick the other types of air dribbles too. The bouncing one and then the one that's rolling towards you, right? So now say the ball is rolling towards you like this, right? The setup is really just your first touch on the ball. So you don't want to just go into the ball full, full speed like that when the ball is rolling into you. What you want to do is you kind of just want to pop it up to yourself and then go underneath it and start the air roll right, air dribble, or air roll left like we went over. Now, it's just like, literally just like the water air setup, 
you want to tap the brake or let go of accelerate. I preferably always tap the brake right as you're hitting the ball. And then as you do that, you see it pops up all for you. I mean, that wasn't a great pop, but something like that. Then you're able to really start your air dribble. I think there's one more like this. Uh, no, I'm trying to look for a bouncing one. Okay, so for something like this, a bouncing one is a little bit different though. You want to jump into it, like double jump into the ball. Now, if you notice, I'm not boosting into it or barely moving into it. I'm literally just catching it on the bounce. So I'm hitting it at its sweet spot on the bounce. I just want to make sure that I'm not going too fast into it. Because if I, ma if I don't match the ball speed, it's going to get away from me. So if I go too fast, just so you guys see the difference. I can follow it up, but it's super hard, right? I'm really reaching for that. So what I do for these, I just kind of double jump into it as the ball's bouncing, and then you can start your air dribble like this. So those are the different types of air dribbles. Um, in this training pack, you can use, you can try all these, right? But this one's coming a little bit faster, so you want to tap the brake or call touch the momentum so the ball doesn't get away from you. If you hit it too hard, it's just going to get away from you. Just tap the brake, just double jump, and then start the air dribble at the ball sweet spot. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if you guys feel like I left something out or want me to explain something, let me know. Um, also, let me know what other types of mechanics you guys want me to go over. Um, I'll see maybe double taps or uh, potentially ceiling shots. I don't know. I was, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Or maybe not even mechanic. It could just be rotations and other stuff. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys did enjoy the video and this helped you out in any way, be sure to leave a like uh, and comment. Any feedback? I read almost every comment, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And let me know in the comments any recommendations of any other sort of video you guys want to see me do. So, that being said, I'm out of here, boys. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, boys.